Oh, it's time out. So try again. I'm surrendering. It's a uh, pahirapan. I cannot connect the camera via LAN. I made several attempts already. Una sa lahat, mag-subscribe muna kayo sa aking channel para suportahan ito. You may also join this channel as a member to avail of exclusive perks like priority in comments reply and early access or exclusive access to some videos for members only. You can also help fund some projects here by sharing super tanks. This is not my review video of the Xiaomi CW300 outdoor camera. Rather, I'm showing here my struggle in setting up this camera to my network. Catch my review video of this camera in a few days. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss the video. In this video, it is more of the setup and installation. This is a dual gimbal type camera because the camera head can move horizontally and vertically at the same time. The camera head tilts up and down up to 160 uh, degrees and can pan up to 360 degrees. This is the front of the camera. The name Xiaomi uh, here is inverted because this should be positioned like this so that the camera head can tilt down perpendicular to the wall and it can see below it. You need to install this bracket first either to a wall or to a ceiling. There are four screws here for mounting it on the wall and also four holes here for the ceiling. You can use this uh, mounting uh, sticker as your guide in uh, drilling holes. Once the bracket is in place in a wall like this, for example, you just slide the camera to the bracket like this and you can secure the camera using a small screw here. It has a, an accompanying uh, screw, so put that in here to secure the camera and use these uh, screws for the mounting bracket. Be sure the wall or ceiling surface can support three times the weight of this camera to, to secure the camera. For this camera, Xiaomi uses 12 volt power supply, hence it is using this 3.5 mm uh, power jack. Insert the male jack of the adapter to the female jack of the camera then the adapter is a 12 volt uh, 1 ampere with a 3 meter cable once the power is uh, connected wrap it with this waterproof uh, tape to prevent water from entering the power cable I had a hard time setting up and pairing the camera to the Mi Home app due to a known connection problem. I repeated the process several times. Please use your phone to scan the QR code on the label of the camera to enter the configuration page. Waiting for connection. The camera indicator waiting line for connection. is orange. It means it's waiting for connection as the uh, voice prompt says so. Let's go to the app. Let's add, for add a device. Discover device. Okay, so it discovers the Waiting camera. Top. Then you have to select either wired connection or wireless connection. Uh, we'll just select for the wireless connection first. Then next. This is only 2.4G, so next, it's already connecting. Waiting for connection. Then we have to scan the QR code. Waiting for connection. Okay, it's Network done. Network information obtained successfully. Mm. 
Try again. 99-100. Bring device closer to the router. Waiting for connection. That's already twice. I have to try it again. The router is just nearby. Hard again. Okay. I have to reset Waiting the device. Waiting for connection. Reset successfully. Starting. Please wait. Try this one. Surprisingly, it connects easily to my Wi-Fi repeater which is located upstairs while I was in the living room. Successfully paired with account. Okay. I tried to connect again directly to my router but again it failed. So I'm suspecting that the CW300 has problem competing with my other 2.4 GHz devices connected to the router. I have lots of devices connected to the 2.4 GHz. I tried restarting my router but still the camera cannot connect to the network. The main feature of this camera is its ability to connect via Ethernet or LAN cable. Let's see if indeed wired connection is faster than wireless for the CW300. Here's how to connect using the LAN cable. You need to insert the cable to the LAN port of the camera using the waterproof kit. I arranged the kit like this. This is the ceiling ring, the sleeve, stopper, and the rear cover. You need to insert the LAN cable to the rear cover first. The thread is on the side. Then into the sleeve. Then the ceiling ring should be attached to the LAN port connector to seal between the LAN cable. Put that here. Okay. Insert the LAN cable to the port. Then tighten the sleeve. You see the ceiling ring here that protects the LAN connection. Then it's time to put the uh, stopper by just inserting it into the LAN cable this way there's a slit here and put the stopper into the cable and to the sleeve the stopper locks the cable and finally tighten the rear cover it's done when you set up this camera for the first time, you will be asked to choose whether to connect to Wi-Fi or through the LAN cable. But if you had already set this up with Wi-Fi, there's no instruction on how to shift to LAN connection. I already plugged in the LAN cable to the LAN port connector of the camera and the signal still the same. So let's check the um, network network info and you can see here it's still connected to the Wi-Fi there's no other instructions here how to uh, shift to LAN cable so what I'm going to do now is delete the device and <laughs> reconnect again using the uh, the LAN cable okay so let's delete the device let's remove okay I think I don't know if you can hear that the camera says uh, acknowledging the removal of the camera so I'll add let's check a device it's already uh, found by the app then we'll check, I uh, will choose select wired connection. For then next. Okay, it says here use a network cable. I already inserted the cable. Next, it's connecting. Um, I was supposed to uh, scan the QR code, but suddenly the camera. Okay, there's the QR code. So I have to climb again. <laughs> Waiting for connection. And scan the QR code on top of the camera. Waiting for 
waiting for connection. Oh, this is this is waiting not for connection easy because it's sunny. Okay. Network information obtained successfully. Okay, it's connecting to the device. Oh, it's time out. Try again. Okay, it's error again. So let's add again. And this time we're going to re reset the device. Reset successfully. Starting. Please wait. Oh, try again. So try again. Details. So I really can't uh, connect to the network via LAN cable. I put my cell phone uh, on a 2.4 gigahertz uh, channel, Wi-Fi channel. Let's see if it works. Select wired connection. Next. Waiting for connection. This is one for the last time. <laughs> then if it fails again, then I will revert to Wi-Fi. Time out. Okay. I'm not going to... I'm surrendering. I'm going back to Wi-Fi connection. Waiting for connection. I made already several attempts to uh, connect the camera via LAN, but it's still unsuccessful. So that's the connection. Waiting I, for connection. I cannot say that uh, the problem lies on the LAN cable because that LAN cable is used on my TAPO app. Here's the connector, port connector for the Waiting TAPO app. For connection. And it was functioning well when I used the LAN cable with uh, the TAPO C320WS. So I just transferred the LAN cable from TAPO camera to Xiaomi CW300. So it's a uh, Pahirapan. I cannot connect the camera via LAN. I made several attempts already. If you have the same experience in setting up this camera, please share it in the comment section below. For the rest of configuration and settings, it's basically similar to other Xiaomi cameras, so I'm not going to deal with all of it in this video. But here's some important settings. Let's go to night vision function. Okay. Black and white night vision mode and smart full color. Let's uh, retain the smart color. Smart full color. Sleep settings. Uh, not put the schedule. PTZ gesture, uh, we'll enable this one so that we can control the camera on the screen. Human tracking, let's turn that on. Uh, sound and light alert, not yet. Let's turn on the satellite. Data uses protection, uh, let's not put that. Anyway, we are on Wi-Fi, not on mobile network. Pop-up window, uh, that's it's working, but it's loading. loading. This particular feature is um, connect is uh, done through the cloud server. That's why it's loading. Let's go back to home monitoring. Uh, let's turn that on. Surveillance time. Okay. Post notification detection. Post notifications. Let's check the notification type. Motion detected and someone is passing by. Let's turn that on in the meantime. Then there's a Xiaomi Home Secure, Manage Location, Share Device, Automation. I'll put an automation later, not now. Let's check if there's an update on the firmware. This is the current version. 
so it's up to date additional settings uh, more or less this is the same with other xiaomi cameras wi-fi signal strength is 50 percent my rsa is minus 57 so it's actually the signal is good then there's a free service reminder because if you purchase a new camera from xiaomi you will get free three months of cloud storage but it will expire after three months okay and you have to pay <laughs> okay so that's it it's set already you also need to recalibrate the gimbal when you notice deviation of the gimbal after long-term use. The gimbal may have been deviated a slight angle due to long-term rotation of the camera. This camera has only two storage options, micro SD card of up to 256GB and cloud storage which is for subscription. Although, you can enjoy free subscription for the first 3 months after purchasing the unit. Here, I put a class 10 128GB SD card. Um, it the camera says it cannot see it or couldn't save the the video because the micro card error was detected okay there's an error so try formatting okay we will format it's formatting already the formatting of the card is already finished and it says here the camera is good I put the camera always on recording okay that's so that it will be on loop recording again my review video is coming out in a few days if you're planning to buy this camera i would encourage you to watch my upcoming videos for your guidance you know me i'm always frank and no holds barred in my reviews